Every single bite, every time it's just like, mm, 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 mm. Take a 200 euro steak, mayonnaise, and grill the best steak of your life. You asked for it, you got it. A while ago, we made a mayonnaise steak video. You guys loved it? And in the video, I was wondering, should we do this with Wagyu? And you told me, do it. Not one, not two, all of you. So here it is, a 200 euro Wagyu steak grilled with mayonnaise. This is a 200 euro Wagyu steak. Beautiful, full blood Japanese imported creme de la creme. Absolutely beautiful. But if you think we're gonna put mayonnaise on it and just grill it and determine if it's good or not, you're out of your mind. What's wrong with you? Of course, we're not going to do that. So I got these two test steaks. Pretty awesome steaks, Wagyu steaks, Australian Wagyu steaks that is. And they look fantastic. They got fantastic marbling. And these are gonna be the subjects that we're gonna use for our experiments. And once we figure out what the best way to do it is, then we're gonna get back our crazy, beautiful, delicious Wagyu and do the same thing with it. For our experiment, I selected four mayonnaises. One Belgian mayonnaise, a Dutch mayonnaise, an American mayonnaise, and a Japanese mayonnaise. So we need to cut our Australian Wagyu steak into four parts. I'm going to use my Napoleon Prestige Pro and I'm placing the parts of steak over indirect heat. Once the steaks are cooked, we're going to brush them with mayonnaise and grill them over the sizzle zone. We got all of our steaks grilled up with mayonnaise and they look absolutely fantastic. Chances are we might not even be able to taste the difference, but that's what we're going to find out. Here we go, Belgian mayonnaise. Mm. Rich and creamy. The Dutch mayonnaise. I need to have another bite of that. Mm. Mm. It has less mayonnaise flavor. The American mayonnaise. Mm. I don't like where this is going. It has a good distinct flavor. Japanese mayonnaise. As a Dutch guy, I would like to formally note that I don't like the outcome of this experiment. I like the Japanese mayonnaise best, then the American one, then the Belgian one, and then the Dutch one. I quit. This experiment's over. It can't be. How's that possible? I never expected so much difference between the mayonnaise in flavor. This mayonnaise, the Dutch mayonnaise, is my absolute favorite for eating fries. And it kind of disappoints on the steak. It really, really let us down. Where the Japanese one, I don't know, if you eat it like with mayonnaise, it has, it has that fish sauce flavor. And that's not really great for eating with anything. But if you use it as an ingredient, whoa, it just becomes so much better. And especially if you use it to grill your steak with, it just, you know, it stands out above all. So we got to go with our Japanese mayonnaise for the win. Now it's time to select our favorite mayonnaise recipe. The first one that we're going to make is a fresh ground black pepper with a summer truffle. The second one is a really good barbecue rub. And the third one is garlic and parsley. It's a classic. Truffle mayonnaise is so popular in the Netherlands, we just had to put it in there. But I'm not just going for any truffle, I got a fresh summer truffle. All the way from Italy. Wow, how cool is that? To have this as an ingredient in our mayonnaise that goes onto our Wagyu steak. Uh. All right, let's fire up the grill. We're grilling these steaks exactly the same way we did last time. And in the end, we're going to let them rest and sprinkle on a little bit of salt. I'm so ready for this. I'm gonna go with the garlic and parsley first. It's a classic. It can never be wrong. When we were grilling this, it smelled so fantastic. The chicken even came over. They ran here. Mm. I guess the chicken won this steak too. But there's something here. It's like first bite, you think it's there and then it just vanished. Something is missing. I was hoping for an explosion and it's it's not there. There's not really a distinct flavor. There's not like, oh yeah, man, garlic. That's a shame. 
I love the mayonnaise. It's not dead, it's not there. All right, let's try a barbecue rub. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. I need another piece of that. I'm still getting all, of, all types of flavors. Mmm. Oh, yeah. The barbecue rub is really there and it really elevates the steak. I like the barbecue rub. Really, really good. Now let's try the one that is most expensive. The one that came all the way from Italy just to go into my mouth. I love truffle. I love it so much. I just got the most amazing bite. It's like biting into juices. Like a real Wagyu experience right there. It's like... Not that I tasted much of the mayonnaise and the, the truffle, but it's there. You can taste it. You just put a really expensive truffle and it's not there anymore. It's not happening. The truffle has left the building. I'm not, I'm not feeling fired up. How? No, that's impossible. It's gone. I like the barbecue one the most. My personal favorite, barbecue wrap in your mayonnaise on a steak. I'm thinking that the truffle steak would have been better with just mayonnaise. I'm thinking the, the garlic and parsley would have just been better with just the mayonnaise. But the one with the barbecue rub, it added so much flavor. If you're going for like a mild mayonnaise, like a mild flavored mayonnaise, it's not gonna work. That's why we already chose the Japanese one because it has the most flavor. It has that heavy fish sauce flavor. The fish sauce disappears when you grill it, but still the flavors are there and it boosts the steak. But then when you add something to it, you gotta add something heavy, something big. And that's what we did with the barbecue rub. That's gonna go on our 200 euro Wagyu steak. Full blood Japanese Wagyu. Let's start grilling. just gonna cut into my 200 euro steak. And uh, there's always like this moment before you cut into it, it's like, am I doing it right? Am I not messing this up? It's like, somehow you kind of get like insecure. You know, I've cooked it a couple of times before, but still I'm getting like this little bit insecure. But it's gonna happen, we gotta cut into it. I'm so glad we did the research. Now this looks like a tasty steak. I'm so glad we did all that research, all that work to figure out the best way to do it. The mayonnaise Wagyu steak. You guys asked for it. I love the smell of Wagyu in the morning. Mm. I totally already busted one myth that was in my head. Wow. I thought, mm. whoa, it's going to be a waste putting mayonnaise on a Wagyu steak with all that herbs and that's not going to work. I was wrong. Don't worry, guys. This totally works. This is still a Wagyu. Only there's no, more depth to it. A lot more depth. The flavor and the juiciness still there. It has everything you want out of a Wagyu. Every bite you take is like an explosion, like, like, like something pops open and all of the juices run out into your mouth. But this has something extra. And that extra is just marvelous. Every single bite, every time it's just like... Mm, 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 mm. It's a beauty. And the Japanese mayo with the barbecue rub is just a fantastic addition. If you never had a wakyu and you would eat this... This is so hard. Because now, I gotta explain like... What is it like? You would still get that wakyu experience. It just melts on your tongue. I thought I was gonna say like, it's like mayonnaise on a steak with barbecue rub. It's not like that. Oh. If you think about these three components and then together, it's not like that. Ooh. It's more like getting a beautiful crust, having it nice and creamy with that, well, that barbecue flavor just floating in the background, giving it a little bit of extra boost in flavor. And there's truly only one way to figure out what this tastes like. I'm sorry.
You gotta make this. I'm glad you did this. Can we skip the part where we finish the video? Can you just like take another video and edit it in? You have to do it. And you have uh, to tell them where to get the recipe. Oh yeah. You can go to my website www.pitmasterx.com Well, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, then leave us a big thumbs up. And you probably should because you asked for this video. I still see that some of you people, well actually 70% of you guys watching, are not subscribed to us. Why are you not subscribed? Help us a little bit. Big thanks to our patrons and our YouTube members because they help. Thank you very much. See you guys next time. Until then. It's Mark Lake. And keep on grilling. Mm. And can you show them the little jar of the rub? The rub. Because they're gonna ask for it. This? Yeah. This is the rub that, that we used. You use this one? No. I had no clue. No? No. I thought you made it yourself. No, I'm, I'm really good. I love this we, one. Yeah, we have a lot of rub recipes on the website, so go there if you want to figure out the recipe. It's nice. We use this one. For the, the video. Oh. It has a lot of curry in it. Yeah. It's like an Indian, Japanese, wakyu, with Japanese mayonnaise. That's weird. Do Indians people, Indian people love Japanese people? I don't know, but they sure don't like curry. Mm. No, that's true. Hmm. Did we just commit a crime? Oh no, God no. Sorry all the Indian people. Sorry. We never meant to eat your cow. Oh no, it's not their cow anyways. No, it's not. It's their rub. The, the, it's their, their, rub. their spice, it's their, their flavor profile. It's Japanese That we cow. put on cow. It's still, there's no way to flip it that, that makes this better. We had some, uh, is there an angle where we can sell it which is good? Yeah, use the, use the, the, the wakyu of pork. Yeah, but we didn't. No, but we can still do that. That's the only way. Maybe we, we can flip it, it like we can sell it to them. We can sell it to them and, and to all of the Indian people we apologize, but we had to figure out if curry goes well with beef. That's a good angle. That's the angle. That's, the, that's how we sell it. Yeah. Don't worry that we used curry flavor on beef. It's freaking awesome and we found out especially for you guys.